a double whammy for a lot of people in Germantown. No power, and now they're going a second night without any water. And we know you can't drink it, you can't wash your hands in it, you can't bathe in it, you can't cook with it. Doctors say the only thing you can really do is flush it down the toilet. Mm -hmm. There are some other things around your house you might want to think twice about using, too. Fox 13's health reporter Mandy Rock is joining us live in Germantown, where the city is giving away bottled water right now. Yeah, Mandy, you've been talking to health experts all day. They tell you ingesting diesel-contaminated water is no joke. It can cause some serious problems. That's right, and as you mentioned, it's not only drinking the water that is the problem, but contaminated water can absorb through your skin and also start to cause problems. That's why if you're in Germantown, you need to be using bottled water in the meantime until further notice. And to make that a little bit easier, officials here have set up a drive through bottled water distribution event here at Forest Hill Elementary School. We've already seen several people drive by and get cases of water here. We rushed to Kroger last night to try to find some water bottles and they were already cleaned out. The hunt is on for bottled water in Germantown. Well, I've got uh, people staying with me and so I've got uh, uh, about a case a day we'll go through. The mad dash comes after the city sent out an urgent alert yesterday, directing people not to drink, bathe, or even wash their hands in the water after learning diesel fuel leaked into the city's water reservoir. Uh, diesel contaminated water, uh, it can be very toxic and harmful to the body. Um, and that really depends on the concentration or how much is uh, found to be in the water. Dr. Chad Ross with Baptist DeSoto said symptoms of diesel oil poisoning range from mild to severe. The most common include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. In severe cases, he said people can experience neurological symptoms. New rapid onset, confusion, uh, some lightheadedness, a dizziness, um, as well as altered mental status. So these patients, uh, they can present as if they were intoxicated with alcohol. Dr. Ross said studies have shown that skin absorption with water contaminated with diesel oil has been linked to an increased risk of skin cancer. He recommends avoiding any contact with the water until directed otherwise by the city. And I know it's the summertime and it's hot, so you want to run through the uh, sprinklers. All that should be uh, completely avoided. And doctors say you also should avoid using your ice maker and recommend dumping the ice out and cleaning the machine once that situation here is resolved. And also, if you filled up your pool in the past few days, doctors say you really should avoid getting in the pool at this time. And if you feel like you have any symptoms of diesel oil poisoning, you should reach out to your doctor. And coming up in the next 30 minutes, I'll tell you more about where you can get your hands on bottles of water if you're having trouble finding them. Darcy. That is Fox 13's health reporter Mandy Rock reporting from Germantown tonight. Thank you so much, Mandy.